Hello viewers, morning greetings to you. I am Prashant Jain here with the solution of the amazing question and the question is on your screen. Here in this question we see that the coefficient of x and y are not numerical. In order to solve such kind of the question we need the help of cross multiplication method. Here in this equation the coefficient of x and y are given but in this equation x and y are combined. In order to find the coefficient of x and y we need to separate. It means we multiply x with the a plus b we get x bracket a plus b. Now on multiply y with again a plus b we get plus y a plus b is equals to a square plus b square now let it to be the equation number first and let it to be the equation number second now we need the coefficients of x that is a1 in the first equation and the value is a minus b now the coefficient of y in the equation first that is b1 and the value is a plus b and the c1 is the constant term in the first equation that is a square minus 2ab minus b square. Now from the equation number 2, a2 is the coefficient of x that is a plus b. b2 is the coefficient of y in the equation number 2 that is a plus b again and the c2 is the constant term of the equation number 2 that is a square plus b square. Now we need to check the consistency of this equation. So therefore we need the value of a1 ratio a2 and that is a minus b over a plus b. Now further we require the ratio of b1 and b2 and the value of b1 upon b2 becomes a plus b upon a plus b. And it may be cancelled with each other, we get 1. And now we see that a1 upon a2 is not equals to b1 upon b2. It means we know that this is the condition of unique solution. Now we have the values of a1, b1, c1 from the previous slide and the cross multiplication method here we see in the screen. Now on putting the values of all the b1, b1 and a, b2, c1 and c2 here, you will see that the value of c1 is a square minus 2ab minus b square and the value of c2 is a square plus b square. Now next we put the value of a1 and that is a minus b, then a2 and that is a plus b, b1 that is a plus b and the b2 is again a plus b. Now we have to multiply in the way as you see on the screen. We follow this method across all the cross multiplication method questions. Now on simplification we get x over we multiply the a plus b with a square plus b square it means a plus b in the first bracket and in the another bracket becomes a square plus b square. Now I'm putting the sign minus here and a plus b multiply with this it means a plus b multiply with a square minus 2ab minus b square. Now the turns towards y and multiply of this with this it means a square minus 2ab minus b square multiply with a plus b. On putting the sign here minus and multiply of a square plus b square with a minus b. Now we move towards and that is minus 1 here. Minus 1 over multiply of a minus b with a plus b we get a minus b multiply a plus b. And minus sign then multiplication of a plus b with a plus b it means a plus b a plus b. Now, here we see that in the first part of x, 
in the denominator portion a plus b is common so we will take a plus b outside of the back, uh, bracket and uh, we left with the a square plus b square in the first bracket and uh, in the second portion minus as well as a square minus 2ab minus b square now move towards the y we see there is not any common number so we have to multiply all the numbers a square multiply with a we get a cube then a square multiply with b it means this is the plus a square b on multiply of minus 2ab with the a we get minus 2a square b then multiply of minus with this we get minus plus minus and 2a b square then minus b square multiply with a we get minus a b square and then minus b square into b is minus b cube now on towards the next part that is minus outside the bracket a into a is a square and then a into b square is plus a b square now the minus b into a square is minus b a square and minus b into plus that is minus and minus b into b square is b cube is equals to minus 1 or what again we see that here the a plus b is common so here we take a plus b outside the first outside the bracket and we left with the a minus b then minus common no, sorry minus and then a plus b now we solve this the first part of x that x over a plus b in the first bracket and on simplification in the bracket we get a square plus b square minus a square then minus into minus is plus 2ab and then minus into minus is plus again b square is equals to y over here first of all we write the things as it is and minus 2a square b then again minus 2ab square and minus ab square becomes minus 3ab square then minus b cube on expanding the bracket we get minus a cube minus plus minus ab square and minus into minus is plus b a square minus into minus is plus b cube is equals to minus 1 over a plus b in the first bracket and on expanding the bracket that is a minus b minus a and minus plus is minus that is b and now the time to cancel the terms a squared with a squared here we see that the term b cube a cube cancel with a cube b cube with b cube and here we see that a cancel with a now on writing the left term x over a plus b in the first bracket in the second one we write b square plus b square 2b square and plus 2ab is equals to y over a square b minus 2a square b becomes minus a square b and uh, this is minus 4ab square plus a square b is equals to minus 1 over a plus b and then minus b minus b becomes minus 2b now here we see that in the portion of y a square b cancel with a square b and we left with the terms in the next slide and let it to be the first second and third now in order to find the value of x and y we take the first and third it means from first and third now writing the first portion of this question that is x over a plus b in the first bracket and the second bracket is 2b square plus 2ab and 2b is taken common we get 2b b in the first part and a in the second part is equals to minus 1 over a plus b multiply with minus 2b on cross multiplication we get x is equals to minus 1 and uh, we have in the denominator portion that is a plus b and in the another bracket we have 2b 
bracket b plus a or a plus b and in the denominator portion we have a plus b over minus 2b so we see that here a plus b cancel with a plus b and uh, equals to minus 2b over a into a plus b over minus 2b and minus here 2b cancel with minus 2b and we left the value of x and that is a plus b so now we have the value of x now to find the value of y we need to take the portion number 2 with the portion number 3 so we take from uh, portion second and portion third and that is y over minus 4ab square is equals to minus 1 over a plus b in the first bracket and in the second bracket minus 2b on cross multiplication we get y is equals to minus into minus is plus and that is 4ab square over a plus b into minus 2b b cancel with b and 2 cancel with 4 and we get 2 in the numerator we get 2ab and in the denominator we have minus a plus b so on shifting the minus in the numerator we get the value of y that is minus 2ab over a plus b as value of y thank you friend thank you